The COVID-19 pandemic has affected every American. It has created not only a medical nightmare for us, but an economic nightmare as well. And to our healthcare providers and those that are on the front lines providing care to our patients and our family and our friends, to our first responders, you are real heroes and we could not be more grateful for your service. And on the economic front, as we've watched American businesses begin to melt down, to lose everything that they've worked for, there's another hero that's emerging, and that's our community bankers. Community bankers have always been there for their communities. These are your neighbors, your friends, the people that you go to church with and serve in your community organizations with. They have always been there for you, and now they're here for you again. And what we've seen and what I have seen throughout the third district of Georgia, our great state of Georgia and throughout the nation, is I have seen a Herculean effort by community bankers to help be a critical part of rebuilding the American economy. They are an unexpected hero in this whole crisis. What they have done to bend over backwards to take an imperfect program, to take $350 billion and get it to our small business owners in record time is something that we're very grateful for. We have asked them to go against their very nature, to go against the, the particular ways that they have of, of perfection. We've asked them to get money out the door and trust that the federal government will be there to back them up. And these efforts have not gone unnoticed. It's an imperfect system and there are problems, but our community bankers have stepped up, worked long hours and gone above and beyond. And so as we come back together to rebuild our American dream, as we get together to restore what is great about this nation, I wanna say thank you to our community bankers for once again stepping up and leading the way.